In a world where inequality continues to grow, the concept of luxury prisons for the ultra-rich has sparked both fascination and outrage. These high-end detention facilities offer a stark contrast to the standard prison experience, raising questions about fairness and justice. Let's delve into the world of luxury prisons and explore what sets them apart from traditional correctional facilities. If you end up enjoying this video, please like, comment your opinion, and subscribe for more content. The Emergence of High-End Detention Facilities The roots of luxury prisons stretch into the notion that a segment of society accustomed to a certain standard of living could continue to enjoy some semblance of it, even when serving time for criminal activities. This concept has materialized in facilities designed to cater exclusively to the financial elite, convicts who have the means to afford an elevated level of incarceration. Unlike their standard counterparts, these detention centers are built on the premise of comfort and security, prioritizing the mental and physical well-being of their inmates. At the heart of these high-end facilities is the idea that wealth should not strip an individual of the opportunity to serve their sentence in an environment that mirrors their everyday life to some extent. It's a controversial principle that has led to the creation of prisons equipped with amenities that rival those of luxury hotels. Inmates can enjoy private suites instead of crammed cells, access to a variety of leisure activities and high-quality, chef-prepared meals, all designed to mitigate the stresses of prison life. The transition to such opulent accommodations reflects a broader societal debate about the role of punishment and rehabilitation. These facilities often include programs and services aimed at addressing the causes of criminal behavior, from psychological counseling to educational courses, with the argument that a more personalized and humane approach can lead to lower recidivism rates. However, the proliferation of luxury prisons is not merely a reflection of a desire to reform the penal system, it also underscores the growing disparities within it, highlighting how financial power can dramatically alter the nature of punishment. The emergence of these plush detention centers poses pressing questions about equity and the very essence of justice, challenging the conventional wisdom that prison should be a place of penance and rehabilitation for all, irrespective of wealth. Comparing Standard and Luxury Prisons The dichotomy between standard and luxury prisons is stark, revealing deep contrasts in living conditions, facilities, and opportunities for inmates. In typical prisons, individuals are faced with the harsh realities of incarceration that often include overcrowding, limited access to healthcare, and minimal opportunities for personal development or rehabilitation. These environments are characterized by shared cells, basic or inadequate facilities, and a focus on punishment over rehabilitation. Conversely, luxury prisons redefine the incarceration experience for those who can afford it. These establishments often resemble high-end hotels more than correctional facilities, offering private, well-furnished cells or suites that provide comfort and privacy. Inmates in these plush settings enjoy access to gourmet dining options, comprehensive libraries, personal fitness trainers, and even spa treatments. Technology plays a significant role as well, with inmates often having access to the internet, video conferencing for visits, and entertainment systems. The availability of educational and therapeutic programs is another distinguishing feature of luxury prisons. While standard facilities may offer some form of education or vocational training, luxury prisons provide a wide range of personalized programs tailored to the individual's needs and interests, including advanced degree courses, arts therapy, and one-on-one -on -one counseling. This approach not only aids in personal development, but also in the rehabilitation process, preparing inmates for a smoother reintegration into society. This comparison raises important questions about the values and objectives of the penal system, particularly around issues of equity, rehabilitation, and the societal role of punishment. The existence of such divergent paths within the same correctional system illuminates the profound impact of socioeconomic status and the experience of justice and rehabilitation. The Most Notorious Luxury Prisons Around the World Exploring the Globe reveals a collection of luxury prisons that have captivated attention for their lavish accommodations and unparalleled amenities designed to serve the incarceration needs of the affluent and privileged. 
Among the most talked about is Norway's Halden prison, often referred to as the world's most humane prison. In this prison, inmates enjoy comfortable private cells adorned with artwork, fully equipped music recording studios, and even a two-bedroom house for family visits. The facility's approach to rehabilitation through respect and luxury has sparked discussions on the effectiveness and morality of such a penal system. And another continent, San Antonio Bad in Bolivia, offers a unique take on incarceration, allowing inmates to purchase their cells, resulting in disparities where the wealthiest can live in luxury apartments within the prison complex, complete with private bathrooms and kitchens. This system reflects the stark differences in inmate living conditions based solely on financial capabilities. Sweden's Austerker prison further exemplifies the trend towards comfort and normalization in correctional facilities, providing inmates with opportunities to engage in a variety of recreational activities, from music and art classes to extensive outdoor privileges, all aimed at fostering a sense of normalcy and aiding in the rehabilitation process. The Justice Center Leben in Austria, as previously mentioned, not only offers spacious living quarters with modern amenities, but also focuses on transparency and the psychological well-being of inmates, featuring large windows for natural light and unrestricted views of the outside world, challenging traditional notions of imprisonment. These examples showcase the varying degrees of luxury and comfort provided to inmates in different parts of the world, igniting a global conversation on the ethics and implications of such facilities. As each of these prisons strive to redefine the standards of incarceration, they present a complex picture of justice, privilege, and the pursuit of rehabilitation in the modern age. The Debate – Fairness and Justice in the Age of Luxury Prisons the introduction of luxury prisons has ignited a complex and polarized discussion on the core principles of fairness and justice within the criminal justice system. Opponents of these opulent facilities vehemently argue that they exacerbate existing societal inequities, allowing the affluent to enjoy relatively plush and comfortable confinement while their less fortunate counterparts endure the grim and often dehumanizing conditions of traditional prisons. This disparity, they claim, undermines the egalitarian ethos that should underpin the penal system, effectively creating a justice system that is lenient and accommodating for the wealthy, but harsh and unforgiving for the poor. On the flip side, advocates of luxury prisons present a contrasting perspective, suggesting that these facilities embody a more progressive and rehabilitative approach to incarceration. They posit that by providing a humane and dignified environment, which includes access to educational and therapeutic programs, luxury prisons can significantly contribute to the reduction of recidivism rates. The argument extends to the idea that rehabilitation rather than punitive detention should be the primary objective of incarceration, benefiting society at large by preparing inmates for successful reintegration. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this content interesting, would appreciate your support. If you like, leave a comment below, subscribe, and hit that notification button. We'll catch you in the next one.